Well, here it is. It's September 8th, and I'm outside Commissioner Mark the Liar, not David Sarnoff's home. Taking a pen. This is uh, his compound. He's got four signs on it. Four of them are illegal. Hello, lady. You're going to be on YouTube again. You're going to send cops out for me? You scared me. You sent cops out. You tried, didn't you? But they, they ignored you. You break the law, don't you? And I'm going to be taking more signs. Enjoy your walk. See yourself on YouTube. Anyway, there is Sarnoff's $200,000 traffic circle. People have to go slowly around it, especially the big trucks. They run over the, uh, the curbing. Let's take a look at uh, uh, the layout of the compound. Pardon my shaky camera. <clears throat> Mark knows very well why I don't like him anymore. I'm his first Miami friend from 25 years ago, and we were gym buddies. Here's the front of the home and office compound. This is the office, and that's the home. Look at all these ugly signs he has plastered on this. This fence area is public easement. It's, it's sidewalk. It's called easement. It's not his property. He can only have one sign for his property, and that's up near the front door, near a garage door. He can't have four signs, five signs out here. And here's his front yard. This is the infamous doggy park, his private park. He made this quarter million dollar project over 10 years ago, I believe. But the grass was getting a little tired. I made a video here in, uh, in July, July 10th. It looked very nice. It was a little scruffy getting, getting a little scruffy. So. Mark and his friends, Mark in particular, got a proposal to redo the park. All the earthwork, everything is being replaced except for a few trees. They're making berms and hills and probably a, a pond. It's going to be really super nice. I saw the construction manager by chance yesterday when I was here visiting. Very nice guy. I asked him what it cost. He said, let me stop the camera. For a These are nice guys who do this construction work. I have no, no complaint against them. Anyway, I talked to the construction manager for all the city of Miami, a nice fellow, and he explained that this had been tabled for a long time. He's been on the, on the table or whatever you call it. It's all approved. Well, how much does it cost? I hear it costs a, a quarter of a million dollars. Oh, no, he says it's more like 104, maybe 140,000. He says, I don't know the figures, but if you really want, that you can call the uh, our office and the lady will give you all the figures you want. Well, I may just do that because I'm looking at about a, a, a two-acre site here. It's completely excavated. It's got a couple of weeks to go. It's going to be beautiful. If they're doing this for $104,000, I'd be amazed. And if they're doing it for any amount of money at all, when poor people are suffering and people can't go to the grocery store and buy a loaf of bread, I don't think that's very fair especially when it's for this son of a bitch's front yard. When I clipped your signs down on the 14th of August, Mark, what did you do? I put a video up on YouTube showing myself removing the illegal ugly signs. You sent a cop to my house. He zipped open my garage door and he put a gun to my head and he promised to shoot me if I moved and said I was a criminal for removing your stupid signs. And I sent him on his way. Goodbye. Goodbye, Starnoff. I'll see you at Friday's commission meeting.